Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are again on the Monoport K40 and we are gonna do a canvas burn. All right, so, so far we've done black and white and today we decided to do a little more color. Uh, so we're gonna do underwater scene. So we have two layers of blue paint and then a layer of black. All right, so here's what happened on our first one. Uh, so we'll chalk it up to a test. Uh, the very top part was at 20%, way too much. Uh, burning through all of the paint and actually burning the canvas. So adjusted it down and kept adjusting it down until we got to about 7% on most of this. And it's pretty neat. It goes through the blue in the right spots and gets to the white uh, at the top where there's a big burst of sunlight under the water and then when it gets down to where turtles supposed to be uh, it's not strong enough to get through so and then I turned it back up here at the bottom to get to see maybe some of the groundscape so essentially what I think we're running into is that we don't have enough layers on this to be able to use a high enough percentage to get any kind of uh, gradients in the burn. So what we're gonna do is prep another one. I'm gonna do three coats of white, three coats of blue, and then a black coat over the top. And hopefully we can run it at maybe 15%, somewhere in there, and not burn clear through to the canvas and get a better overall dynamic picture. So let's get a new one in and let's see what it does. All right, here are our settings. We're going with 300 millimeters a second for the raster. There's our picture flipped backwards and 15% on the power. We are adjusted where we need it. Laser head's ready to go so we can hit play and go.
Okay, after that one, still not great. That's good. So, top half still looks bad. The bottom half actually looks way better. Yeah. Uh, still not perfect, but really close. The bottom where the sand is and the ripples of the light actually look pretty, pretty, cool. pretty darn good. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't just the layers for sure. It's how K40 Whisperer uh, rasters grayscale. Hmm. Um, and I did find the setting. Uh, in K40 Whisperer for raster settings, you can adjust the slopes on the white and the black. And what that means is you can adjust how fast uh, the transition goes uh, between the blacks and the whites. And right now it's set basically in a way that I think would look better when you don't invert it for something like burning away the black paint. So. Essentially, it's set to burn wood. Right, okay. Right, so the blacks look really good and rich and great, and it, it transitions out of the white much faster. So when we flip it, it's doing the opposite. The blacks are burning way too hot, and that in turn is burning clear through the paint too fast. So it's going to take a lot of tinkering and playing around in K40 Whisperer. This is not an issue that you would have um, in light burn because of the pass-through settings mm -hmm. um, And there is a way to completely turn this off and make it just one-to-one -one. that may be the way to go I don't know, but it's gonna take a lot of practice <laughs> and settings to figure out if you've used k40 whisperer much um, And have good settings <laughs> let us know other than that. Uh, we'll keep doing a test and try to report back later yeah. uh, When we get a good one All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time